was crypto muscle on to you in another YouTube video, and so here we are in the national now worldwide. I think it is the words that crypto muscle and the crypto muscle network coming to you with, for with another YouTube video. Man, oh man, it's Cash of X Saturday once again. All right, three weeks into July, you know, the hot, sunny, hot summer days of July. What they call the dog days of summer. And here at Cash FX, it's been zero coming out since January. All right. And it's January of 2022 that it stopped receiving any money out of this thing whatsoever. But yet, to this very day, whoever it may be, whether it's the director's group or beyond, still tries to keep semi-contact with everybody else below them to keep everybody hanging and hoping that Cash of X would still come back to be of something. Which we all know it's not going to happen. But, you know, people don't want to listen. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to, to create an awareness, all right? My campaign for a very long time is to help people stay away from cash of x because if it was paying that's one thing but if it's not paying then we know what's going on that it's over is that crazy but true and you guys need to wake up all right this is the crypto muscle network right uh you know let me show you guys something here you know this is the crypto muscle network right and then of course you guys know my other channel here is the crypto muscle legacy and I keep it real I, I let people know what's going on and everything in crypto because there's a bunch of these idiots out there in the space that just don't tell anybody what's going on until they get screwed over and then they hear from it and then <laughs> I don't know the, it's just it's just crazy how things are and a disservice that whether it's the director's group of cash effects, whether it's the bald-headed dildo, Steve, that continues to talk about cash effects and how he's tracking his progress, uh, you know, it's a joke. You know, which is funny how that is. It's such a joke, though. Uh, especially from a bald-headed dildo named Steve that sits there and still tracks the progress of what's going on in cash effects. And how much he's up for the year. And it's like, um, you're up for the year and what? Dashboard money and or just the number on the, yeah, I guess pretty much dashboard money. Virtual money? Make-believe money? What, what do you want to call it? Fart dust? How about that? Uh, fart dust money. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, you're making magical fart dust money because whatever reason you believe it's happening i don't know it's just idiocracy at its finest all right and you know aside from him being that he's only once a month at least i carry it on once a week still on cash of x and it's just crazy how this is and where we are today i'm only here till this thing ends right and so Pretty much, that's how I'm doing it with, uh, you know, uh, Coin Market Bull and Max Spread. Unless there's anything new that comes out of them, today was the day I ended them, right? So, Cash of X, I'm waiting for the day for this charade to be over, for this thing to be dead, like officially dead, dead, dead. And that way I could push this off into the sunset and we can move forward. With all the progress that we've been making in crypto and all these other opportunities and platforms, while you idiots st sit here and wait for CFX to come back. And so, man, it's, it's just crazy. But I want to give you guys the latest news here, right? From the group that's kind of the closest to anything we could get out of Cash of X in terms of just corporate or a director's group or whatever like that. Supposedly, this. This guy is in touch with the director's group. Steve, bald-headed dildo, supposedly is connected to um, 
director's group and all that as well, which, you know, there's no verification of that, but, you know, for me, it's just, I show it to you as it is in the chats. I, I'm not trying to make shit up. You know, this guy says he's, he's in touch with the director's group. I'm just reporting it as such. So, um, a couple of days ago, this came up. Important notice. Good evening. Please look for the second email to confirm you have correct details in your CFX back office. From uh, this email. Uh, act, urgent action required debit card profile update. So this is just a copy and paste. That's why it says Dear Ann. As part of our commitment to providing you with the best possible service and ensuring the security of your financial transactions, we kindly request your immediate attention to update your account information. Please note that failing to complete this update will make you ineligible to receive a new debit card. So they're trying to make it look like you're still going to get this thing by having you just hang on there for what? I don't know. We understand that this may require a few extra moments, but it's crucial for us. Blah, 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 blah. And they tell you what they need. They need address, region, municipality, postal code, and country, right? And then, of course, ID as well, because this is KYC. And please note, failure to update all the fields mentioned before you, uh, the result is the cancellation of eligibility to receive your new debit card. And so, uh, let's see, regarding the CFX debit card processing, it's in the CashFX Group website, according to them. And go into the account from the drop down menu, select the profile, fill in all this stuff. Um, you know, international passport or government ID to show what type of ID, 2FA. And then here's this. Uh, we apologize for any inconvenience caused, but we need your immediate assistance. The banking issuing the debit card now requires essential. Okay, so we already know that. They need to provide a date of birth now. By providing this in this promptly, you'll enable us to complete the necessary processing system swiftly and ensure a smooth and secure delivery of your new debit card. Security is of the utmost importance. And updating this information will help ensure a smooth, secure process. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Submit your date of birth. And for the USA people, United States is now in the drop down box for selection. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I'm not going to believe this shit till I see it. Whether it's the debit card, whether it's just anything to show something, because it's been a year and a half of nothing, right? And supposedly that payment solution was supposed to come a year ago, right? You know, when they when on Huascar, I was talking about, no, it's not a story. Uh, yeah, this was supposed to be actually two years ago. The payment solution was supposed to come. And um, it got kind of pushed forward last year. And they were really trying to push the KYC deal. And that really didn't do nothing because we're still here. <laughs> Nothing's going on in Cash of X. And it's just funny how that is. Sad as it is because all you morons out there still believe in this. Still believe it's going to come back. I know Steve is a believer. He's going to uh, play play even keel and coy and, uh, you know, act like everything's all good and stuff. But deep down, he wish he didn't put that money in. He wish, or, or on top of that, deep down, he wish all this sort of upgrading that he's doing and compounding um, would give him a bigger payday, which wasn't that long because he's barely been in this thing. Not as long as I've been in this thing. Right, and as long as the Oracle has been in this thing, so when you look at that, it's like barely anything's being coming out. You know, it's coming out from Cash of X in terms of like the quote unquote results that your boy Steve likes to track. Uh, let me see some here. I want to see 
if uh, I'm trying to see what's the latest results here from this guy. Let's see if he's posted anything recently. Uh, maybe not. No, I think he took this. This person took down all the Cash FX tweets that he was doing. Uh, that's the only thing that would that would come up. Yeah, I think this person removed all the tweets. I was one that was following diligently about Cash Vex and its progress. And at the same time, keeping it real, right? Um, and that's what the appeal is about keeping it real. Is because, you know, you don't have to continue to this amount of, you know, of just piling on bullshit after bullshit after bullshit. And I just don't get it for what, you know? Uh, Cash FX has long been dead. Just like all these other platforms, you know? When they die, I don't know why some of these platforms want to just drag it out further, you know? But that's where the, the noodle in your head, you know, becomes more aware that, hey, you know what? I gotta be more aware of my surroundings. I gotta be more aware of what who's watching. I gotta be more aware of these things. And... I got to be more open-minded about these things. And so looking at that, it's like a no-brainer that we all know cash was done. Why would you give them any time of day, especially with this AP2C garbage, to make you think they're coming back? And to me, it's just going to suck. And... Um, you know, just to continue to push this charade on. That's the part I don't get. So, uh, with that, I'm just filling you guys in on what's going on, which is, uh, once again, a whole lot of nothing, aside from this whole fiasco with uh, the debit card stuff. And it's like, what else is there? So, if you got in early, good. You, you made out well. If you got in late, Hey, uh, you know, I've been sending out warning signals since January 2022 when payments haven't been coming out. All right. I've been telling everybody that I've been telling everybody about how other YouTubers are really, really pulling the wool over your eyes and not really showing the truth of what's going on. But hey, let me help you guys with that. And I bring I, know, I brought the awareness. I say, hey, this is what's happening, guys. I think you should consider staying away, and especially for everybody else to not, you know, get in this thing, you know. It's like you got to back off, go somewhere else. But, yeah, so, again, here we are, continue to spin wheels. You know, it would be funny if it would be January next year. That will be a two-year anniversary from the last time they paid out anything, you know. And it's like, really, uh, I don't know, it's just bugs the shit out of me in a sense that man you guys just got to move on and move forward let's just close this baby out that's the only thing i'm talking about so only time will tell because you guys got a lot of time to kill i guess if you're just sitting around waiting for cash to come back so you know that's the part that just boggles the mind but hey i i guess that it is what it is simple as that so, you know, here we are once again. It's, you know, mid-July 2023. And before you know it, it's 2024. And then that's when things are going to really change. All right. And there's a lot of factors going on with that aspect. So, but that's just down the road. It's way too early to even think about 2024 right now because we still got to get through 2023. And see if X still has to come through with something because nothing's been coming out since January 2022. It's like, holy shit, year and a half of nothing? That's um, not on me, though. Just letting you know what's going on. And so, yeah, that's the latest of Cash of X. All right, just a fiasco of nonsense. If that makes any sense, right? Woo! Comment down below, links down below. I'll see you next one.